Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about micro scales. In other words, the gram type micro scales to weigh your cartridges with. Now why would you want to do that and why would that be important? Well, a lot of you refill your own cartridges and some of the, specifically talking about Canon, some of the Canon cartridges are opaque and so you really do not know how much ink you have inside the cart. So you must weigh it. So you first have to begin with a known full cart, say an OEM cart you just open out of the box and you weigh it and you determine the weight. That way when that cart goes empty and you try to refill it, and since you're refilling blind, you have to do it by weight. Now one of those cases is the cartridges. I only, by the way, I only have fairly high-end photographic printers in Canon and Epson type models. So this specifically relates to the Canon Pixar 9500 or the Pro 9500 Mark II. These cars have a little bit of a window on the side but you really don't know when they're full or not. You fill them by actually dripping ink onto the exit sponge and once the ink reaches the top of the sponge and you cannot get any more ink, they're supposedly full. Well, how do you know they're really full? How do you know there's no air trapped inside the cart, sort of displacing your ability to fill it to the full volume? That's where the scale comes in. You have to have a scale in order to be able to determine if you have reached the correct gram weight of the cart when it is indeed full. So let's go ahead and put this down a second. Another case and point would be if you are modifying your Pro 3800 or Pro 3880s or Pro 4000s or any of the Epson printers that utilize 110, 220, 350s and larger. Those cards are actually easy to modify so that you can refill them directly from the back port as you can see here. Now you need, a, you need to be able to inject the correct amount of ink and ensure yourself that you're not actually having air trapped inside the cart which prevents you then to inject the full load. It might appear like you're actually getting back pressure from your syringe but you really are not injecting the full volume, the correct volume. So you need to get yourself one of these. This is a little postal scale. It costs about 40 bucks on, I believe it was on Staples. And this is a little microgram scale. You could get these on eBay. You can get similar ones on eBay for probably less than I paid here locally. But this is a must have. You guys have to get some of these so that you'll be able to do your refilling of some of these cartridges that actually require weighing. Without them, you really do not know what you are actually filling them to. In other words, whether you're actually filling them to correct volume. Imagine one of those Epson cards. Say I have 10 ml equivalent of 10 imagine if I have air inside my ink bag and I can only inject say 70 ml of ink instead of the full 80 ml well I do not know that you know I'm getting the feeling that I actually have enough ink because I'm getting back pressure from my syringe and so I imagine it is full when in fact there's actually 10 ml of air preventing me from injecting that last 10 ml. So I weigh it and up ah, immediately I know what the problem is. So that's why it's important to have these little micro scales. So again my recommendation is if you're a refiller, if you have lots of printers like I do, get one of these either this size for the smaller carts or one like this for your larger carts. A full 3800 cart or 3880 cart weighs in excess of 150 grams, just slightly over 150 grams. So you need a scale that can handle that kind of weight. All right, so that's it. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share, please share. Don't forget to subscribe. So until the next time, happy printing and bye-bye.